So we saw where one point perspective broke down earlier. Um, and of course, logic would stand that if one point perspective breaks down, two point perspective can break down as well. So let's say you're on street level um, staring at a huge, huge building, right? And you want to kind of convey the sense of you looking up, up at this building, right? So you're going to, you're going to draw out your, your two point perspective. Um, you're going to draw the, uh, the bottom plane of this building real quick. And then you're just going to project the, this building way, way high, all the way near to the top of the page, right? So if you're thinking this is like a 50-story building and you're going to convey this in two-point perspective, uh, things are going to look really, really, really strange, right? You're going to have this kind of like squat-looking thing. Now, if you were to draw, if you were to draw in all these 50 stories with the windows, it would look terrible. So, what actually happens is you need a third vanishing point for all of you, so that all of your lines can can recede to it. And generally, that vanishing point is going to be on this vertical. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but for the sake of this, um, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to put it right here. So then we're going to make all of our lines projecting upward go to this vanishing point. And that'll create a fairly interesting uh, effect. This is kind of like an extreme version of it. Generally, you'd want the vanishing point off the page. But we're doing this so, so that you can see it. So you're going to take this vertical, right, and... Uh, I want to go up there too. All right, forgot to drop all of our verticals. Need a couple more. Boom. Boom. All right. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick. A point for this to end, say like right here. Then I'm going to drop those back to these vanishing points again. And this is going to look really funky because it's just at such an extreme angle. But uh, there you can see the uh, the building starting to develop. Um, if you wanted to really draw through the form, that would be good. So here's the top plane, here's the bottom plane, right? That's the top plane, that's the bottom plane there. Here's the front. I'm gonna use my line weight idea. Here's the side of the building, it's another side. So that's a pretty nifty, uh, nifty technique um, to keep in mind. We'll do more with three-point perspective later, and, and actually do some four-point as well. So, <coughs> um, and there's even five-point, which is um, a way to do um, uh, like the fisheye lens effect. Um, so there it is, like a brief intro to three-point, because two-point perspective kind of breaks down and looks a little weird. Um, this drawing got a little muddy, so I'll do, we'll do more three-point perspective uh, later. Um, this is Ben Mead McLean for asquared.com uh, with intermediate perspective concepts. Um, go ahead, take those home, uh, practice them. Uh, they will lay the foundations for landscape drawing, for figure drawing, the help in your still lives. 
you'll be able to like put figures into perspective when you think of it uh, like that. And whenever you're having trouble, um, uh, you know, using your intuitive sense, just go back to the to the like absolute logic of of perspective drawing, and uh, you'll be all set. So thanks a lot.